Hey guys, it's Misty from the Book Rat, and this is my November TBR, or To Be Red Pile. So as always, it's bigger than I'm probably going to be able to get through, but this is just the stack that I'm pulling from for the month, and the things I'm hoping to be able to read. I'm going to start with the things that I'm absolutely going to be reading, because they are review books. Everybody Sees the Ants by A.S. King. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one. I really liked A.S. King's writing in The Dust of a Hundred Dogs. So definitely higher on the list. Um, I don't know if I showed you, but there's an ant in the eye. Cat O' Nine Tales by Patricia Lever. This is a pirate book, and it's for review, so I gotta read it this month. It's pretty slim, so that shouldn't be an issue. Um, and I love this cover. It looks pretty cool. The Twelfth Enchantment by David Liss. I'm trying to make it so it's not super glossy, so you can see. How about I just do this? There you go. <laughs> the Twelfth Enchantment by David Liss. Um, this one's kind of thick and super bright. I kind of feel like I'm going to be reading a manuscript the way it looks, which is neat. But I've heard some good things about this. It seems like something that I would like, so I guess we'll see. Jane Austen Made Me Do It, edited by Laurel Ann Natris. Um, I'm not going to be reading all of this in November because I want to save some of it for Jane in June, but I will be reading some of it just to kind of get um, a little something up on the blog about it. The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler. I won this one, and it comes out in November, so I want to read it now so I can get the review up um, around the time that it comes up, and I've heard great things about both Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler. Microcrafts, little craft book. This came from Quirk. Um, so it's obviously not going to take me long to read this, but I do want to try to make some of them, so I'm going to try that this month. The rest of these are the books that I want to read, and I'm hoping to be able to get to. Brightly Woven by Alexandra Bracken. Look at that beautiful cover. So I've been wanting to read this for a while, and Liz sent it to me for my birthday, which was in March. So since March, this one has just been like staring at me from my book stacks. So I'm caving this month, and I'm going to read it. Liesl and Poe by Lauren Oliver. I tried to read this in September and October, and it didn't happen. So I'm going to try again in November. Chime by Franny Billingsley. This is another one that's been calling my name since it came out. Um, I've heard nothing but good things. It's a National Book Award finalist now. I had intended to read it for October, but then after the accident I had to cut things. So this is one of the books that got cut. Glow by Amy Kathleen Ryan. This was from the September TBR and I just wasn't able to get to it, so I'm going to try again this month. Without Tess by Marcella Pixley. This came out in October, but with all the hell of a Halloween stuff going on, I couldn't read it in October, so I'm going to try this month. Looking forward to it. I've been told that it's incredible. Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. I just got this in the mail from Liz, and she didn't steer me wrong with Anne and the French Kiss, so I'm going to try to read Lola. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get to it this month, but if I'm able or if I'm craving it, I am going to pull it out. So that's my TBR stack for November. Um, we'll see if I stick to it or if any changes are made or whatnot. Um, don't forget that you can check out my thoughts on the books that I did read at the end of the month. Also, if you want to do your own TBR, you can post it as a video response below, or you can link it up at the linky on thebookrat.com. Hope you enjoy your reading.